This is Brand Insider. We take you inside brands, thought leaders, and innovators to discover strategies, insight, and perspective that help drive success in today's market. He is the former CMO of Kodak turned global business consultant and best-selling author Jeffrey Hazlett. His adapt, change, or die motto is a challenge for organizations to embrace change as a means to thrive. His new book, Running the Gauntlet, spurs on marketers and business leaders to act as change agents. We caught up with Jeffrey for a candid interview on the SoCal Coast at La Casa del Camino in Laguna Beach. Well, the key thing is about adapt, change, or die is always to make sure that we're moving ahead and we're changing. A lot of folks like to think that once you get to a certain level in your profession or, say, in your business, that you can just stop, and right there, it's over, and you can coast, and that's not what it's about. When you go for a drive down the street, you don't lock in the steering wheel, and you certainly don't want to lock in in terms of your business model. So it's really about adapt, change, or die. And Look at all the businesses that we can see that are just littered along the way of death, of running the gauntlet and never making it through that gauntlet. And and died along the way because they've never adapted, they've never changed, and so therefore they die. So it's about a message to leaders that you've really got to be changing, you've got to be innovative, and you've got to be out there making it happen every single day. Years ago when I first went to Kodak to become the chief marketing officer, I had meeting after meeting after meeting with all these different people and one time I'm sitting in a meeting very early on when I was there and on the wall was this big clock and it was 15 minutes off. I don't know if it was ahead or behind, probably at Kodak it was behind at the time. But needless to say we were sitting there and I had my staff and then their staff and then some of their staff as would happen in some of corporate America where everyone's got to be sitting at the table or think they've at least got to be in the room. And everyone started talking about the clock and it being off and it was never right. And so so then they started arguing about, well, we should call maintenance, we should call this person, we should call that person. Someone should do something about changing that clock. And by the way, this went on for months as we went through this. Every time we had a meeting, someone would talk about the clock. And finally, I just said to somebody, do something about it. Why don't you do something? And finally, this young woman got over, pulled her chair in front of the clock, stood up in her dress, in her skirt, reached up and changed the clock. That's a clock changer. Those are leaders. Those are the people that I want to look for in a business. Those are the people who span the silos, that are problem solvers, not problem seekers, that are cheerleaders and want to continuously improve the process of the business. We want clock changers in our business. In any business, you have people who work in silos. We all do, whether it's in marketing, HR, legal, whatever, or even in the, the various uh, functions inside of marketing. We work in certain things. Maybe it's branding, maybe it's research, maybe it's, I don't know, something else, in operations or finance of your department. But what we have sometimes are these people who work in these silos and say, that's not my job. And that's not what you should be focused on. If you work for one company, you're one Kodak, you're one Apple, you're one Ford. It's all about spanning the silos and looking for people who want to change things across the entire business, not in just one particular silo. Well, that wraps up this edition of Brand Insider. Thanks for watching, and be sure to let us hear from you. Brand Insider, are you in?